the show. What's up, man? Hey! Take your Lambo. Is that the one you could afford? Thanks. No, it's the one that fits in my pocket. <laughs> Ken's here. Uh, the important people are here. We're at Malibu Cars and Coffee. And yeah. uh, we're keeping our fingers crossed that Henrik Fisker's gonna be showing up any moment. We got a Tesla that just came in, which is fantastic. We're not gonna do a drag race despite how much you want that. Why not? Okay, fine. All right. Malibu Cars and Coffee, uh, hanging out with a, a very good guy, incredible designer, Henrik Fisker, who uh, was spotted by an Aston owner right away, and you're going to sign the hood. Yeah, oh, the underside be fun. Of the hood. Yes, sign it in under the hood. Is there is there any weird part of the car that you've ever signed that was... Uh, I have signed uh, most under the hood, sometimes behind the sun visor. Uh, somebody had me actually, I uh, believe John Lasseter had me sign for some reason on the tail lamp, inside of the tail lamp, <laughs> when you open the boot. Oh, and maybe uh, it, on a, it shines. On a, on a Fisker, actually, right, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. I don't know what's rare, it's the picture of Enrique signing it. Can you <laughs> it? <laughs> there we go. That looks cool, That looks cool. Yeah. That looks cool. This is Gita Fisker, and uh, you're you're really the boss. Well, you know, and the cleaner too. I know, I know how it goes. So, what's it like to hang out? With Great, well, thank you. You know, it's amazing because we're a team, and we're a really good. You know, team. he's listening too. <laughs> we're a, we're a really good team, and uh, we both inspire each other, and that's what's exciting. You know, we're not just partners in our personal lives, but we are partners in our business. Life. Great. Well, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Go us. check out more cars. Your favorite? I'll hold them in here. Uh, what would you pick? As, what do you consider the best design in this show? I think probably the Jaguar E-Type Coupe. A wise choice. choice. I, you know, it's got perfect proportions, that long hood, beautiful sculpture. and cigarettes laying around the room I don't mind a little mess just want to stay with you and we'll do anything that we want today won't be scared of falling down no more so take me away what what year is this one this Fisker is a 2012 one of the last 25 built is number 2,667. Nice. And it's one of only 77 uh, in this blue, Laguna Blue. Yeah. What, you know, I mean, you've, you've worked with, with BMW, with Aston Martin, and then had Fisk your own company. Yeah. Uh, now you're doing a bunch of new stuff that we can't really talk about, but we don't want to talk about. Um, but we can't talk about the, the bullet, which we'll get to in a moment. The rocket? Yeah. Uh, sorry, the rocket. But it looks like the bullet. It looks the like modern the bu bullet. <laughs> yeah, all I know is it goes really fast. It does. Yes. yes. Uh, and working with the guys at Gas for that. Right. Uh, that's going to be the Eli Auto Show. So, you know, your best experience is, was it working with the other companies or was it doing your own thing? You know, all of the, my experience has been amazing. I think I was very lucky and blessed to work with some amazing car companies. You know, BMW is, is really where I learned everything about cars, not just design, but engineering, how yeah. you put a car together. It's just an engineering and design-driven company where basically engineering and design works together, which I think is fantastic. And then, of course, I went to uh, Ford Motor Company, which is uh, obviously a real mass giant car maker. And I, I learned again a tremendous amount uh, at Ford, you know, about mass-produced cars and 
and uh, you, obviously you cost control and all that stuff. You don't stuff. realize the, the stuff that you're actually learning. You don't. I mean, you just grab it. And I, yeah. I think as a car designer, you need to move around in a company, not just stay in the design store. You got to yeah. talk to the engineers, talk to the marketeers, talk to the PR people, talk to you know uh, accounting. It doesn't matter. You got to talk to everybody to truly understand right. uh, how a car is made. And it is probably the most complicated product in the world yeah. to make. Yeah. Then of course Aston Martin was then another sort of almost shock in the other direction where you're working in, you know, uh, I wouldn't say a little garage, but it's yeah. a, definitely a small company, obviously. Well, I mean, then I started Fisk Automotive was probably the biggest venture anybody can ever do. I mean, there's only a couple of people that really have started their own car company and, and yeah. got cars on the road, right? I mean, right. you got Elon Musk and you got, you know, myself doing that. And that's obviously a, a giant challenge because now you're not talking about spending a few million or even a few hundred million, you're talking about over a billion. Yeah, right. Because you're certifying, you're mass producing, you're doing everything from ground up. And, mm -hmm. And so that that was an amazing experience to actually found a car company, start sitting down doing the sketch, and then following this car through the production. Concept to completion in its but, purest sense. But what was yeah. really unique about that was that we did everything that nobody's ever done before. So not only did we start a new car company, but you know, we were working with suppliers who had never made, you know, inverters or yeah. batteries or whatever it was. Yeah. Okay. Well at LA Auto Show, so then of course now in the last couple of years I have been doing some specialty projects while I'm working on some very big projects, and, and, uh, sort of undercover. Mm -hmm. But the specialty projects is uh, the, the uh, Galpin, uh, uh, together with Galpin, yeah. with Bo Bachman out yeah. at, at, at Gas, Galpin right. Autosport, and we made a car called the Rocket. It's like a Mustang Rocket, yeah. which is probably one of the fastest Mustangs ever made. Mm -hmm. It's all carbon fiber, it's got all unique body panels, and uh, it really was sort of the idea was to make the ultimate American muscle car. Yeah. So really kind of go back and think, how was it to be a designer in the 60s when they just could make all the cool scoops and yeah. wide bodies and put all the horsepower in, there yeah. was no restrictions. That's kind of the yeah. mind. I, I, I played like old 60s and 70s rock music <laughs> when I designed the car. Nice. Just kind of get in that mode, yeah, you know. Sure. It just went from sketch to the final concept in three months and wow. it was pure emotion. There was no... You know, no marketing studies, no, oh, should we change that? Everything yeah. is, is probably one of the most emotional, pure, hardcore emotional cars I've made. I mean, so was, of course, the Fisker and some of the Astons, but this really had a special moment because uh, it was done so fast, there was no time to sort of think about it. It was just the pure, yeah. pure emotion coming out. Yeah. Hi, I'm Henrik Fisker. You're watching The Fireball Malibu Blog. Center, I had another very weird car called the Matra Morena. It was a mid-engine French sports car that probably also nobody ever heard about. But it got you to school. It got me to school. It was a three-seater and the cool thing was it could have two girls sitting right beside me. Wow. That car was kind of cool. Right. I love spicy engine food, curries. Right. Uh, but also one of my other favorites is a, a good old American steak. My wife and I, we work together, and uh, she's, she has a smart business mind. Yeah. Um, so she kind of takes care of all the biz, and she also has a few other projects where I'm just a sort of designer on them. Yeah. Um, but we travel, we have a house in, uh, in, in Europe, we have a place here in the US, and you know, I'm leaving for Europe you know, in a week, then we go to India. Probably one day it'll be cool to do, uh, I think, a real affordable car. You know, the one car that I've never done, and I really didn't have any inspiration to do, or aspirations to do, was, is a minivan. Uh, and we talked about that, and we thought, you know, it would be really cool to just do a super cool, uh, oh, yeah. hot, sexy minivan one yeah, day. Yeah. Where you just like, really go wild, so really for the SEMA show. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I mean, not for production, but for the SEMA show. Sure, so, sure. so I said to Bo, why don't we do that for the next SEMA show? Whether we actually do it or not, I don't know, <laughs> but it would be a fun project. Knowing Bo, 
Who knows? If, if Bo, if you're watching, you know you're going to do that car. <laughs> I'm just saying, you guys are nuts. So chances are that's a high probability for SEMA next year. My favorite car. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Henry, you thank you so much. Yeah. Hanging out. And uh, a lot of fun. Uh, we look forward to having the rocket at this show. Next Absolutely. Time. Yep. You know, but we'll see you at LA next week. Absolutely. See you next week. All right. Take care. But that's okay. We're hanging. This is Carlos and Sarah yeah. from uh, Tesla. That's right. I can, I can even say. By association. By association. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. Uh, Carlos brought in the, uh, you know, it, it's hard for me to remember the exact letters. I keep thinking P90X, the workout program. Yep, close. Well, you get a workout close. after you're done driving. You do. <laughs> you, you lose a lot of weight just from being in ludicrous mode in the this Tesla. This one is the P90D. L. L. L for ludicrous. Right. So you see the line underneath the P90D. Is the yeah. next one going to be ridiculous or? <laughs> have you seen Spaceballs? I have. All right. Watch that movie. There's some. There's some hints as to what possibly could be next. Ah, you heard it here first. Yeah, this is going to be Spaceballs. Spaceballs fan. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. I didn't know that about him. Well, it's something you learn every day. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Well, well thanks for coming classes. to the show. Welcome. Good to see you guys. Great to see you as well. We're going to be driving a Tesla fun. very soon. Yes. Thanks. Guaranteed. That's right. Okay, had a great time with Henrik and his wife Gita. Super cool people. Uh, Henrik is an amazing designer and they're quite a team uh, as far as their business goes, not everything else. But um, had a lot of fun. Big thanks to those guys for coming out to the show. Big thanks to uh, everybody else who brought cars out. Ha, ha, ha.